Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, Hermione Granger. Many of you will rec recognize, if not one, then all three of these names. Each is a character created by J.K. Rowling in one of her most famous series, Harry Potter. Although she is known for the Harry Potter series, she is also known for many other books. They're just a little less known. Others such as The Casual Vacancy, Quidditch Through the Ages, Short Stories from Hogwarts, an incomplete and quit an incomplete and reliable unreliable guide and so many more she's not only an author but she's also a screenwriter and a film producer so today i'm going to inform you of how rowling lost her billionaire status the hurdles that she had to overcome while not only writing the Harry Potter series, but doing much more. And her views in politics, religion, and press, because she makes most of them very well known. My first point is going to be how she lost her billionaire status. Many know that she is very wealthy from her books, but not a lot know that she <coughs> lost her billionaire status. And it's not in the most conventional sense. She lost it because of how much she donates. She went through struggles of her own, and this caused her to go on to donate most of her money to, to charities of all different sorts. According to phil philanthropic people, Rowling worked for Amnesty International after graduating from college. She, not only that, but she's ambassador of one parent families for seven years and awarded honorary position of president in 2007. She holds highest charities for one parent families because she's experienced that herself, which I will cover in the second topic. She wrote a letter, a letter from Dumbledore to a 15 year old girl who had just lost her family. This means a lot to somebody who just lost someone. Especially as, especially since Dumbledore is a held high respectable character in her Harry Potter series. She also worked to transform lives of orphans and put a terminally ill nine-year-old in as a character in the book Goblet of Fire. She also helped a girl with her deceiving, with her, with her eating disorder. And not only did she help her, but that girl went on to be Luna Lovegood in the movies of Harry Potter. And my second topic, her difficulties in her past and her fight to success. According to Indy 100, the characters of Death Eaters in her Harry Potter, se Harry Potter series are suspected to be forms of depression that J.K. Rowling went through. She went on to create them as characters in her book, these dark figures just flowing around. And it's said that they can suck your soul out with the kiss of death as one of the worst things you could possibly go through. Not only that, not only did J.K. Rowling suffer from depression, she was also a bankrupt single parent. And it's one of the reasons that she, in fact, donates to so many charities. She herself went through this. So she wants, so after becoming a billionaire, she wanted to help everyone that she could. And charities one, was only one of the ways that she could do it. Not only do people not know of her difficulties in her past, but they also don't know how hard it was for her to write those books and get them published. The first book in the Harry Potter series alone took her seven years to write. And it was, Go, declined by less, no less than 12 publishers, but she didn't give up. She finally found a publisher who agreed to publishing her book, but on one condition. She couldn't go by her own name. They didn't think the target audience, which was young teenager boys, would want to read a book written by a girl. So they asked her to go by two initials and then her last name. She used her own name and then her own last name. And the K is not her middle name. She in fact doesn't have one, but instead it stands for Kathleen. 
the name of her grandmother, her biological grandmother. And finally, her, her views in politics, religion, and press. J.K. Rowling grew up in an Anglican family, but then she later on went on to convert to a Church of Scotland. Harry Potter actually received a lot of criticism from the Christian parish due to the theme of witchcraft and wizardry. According to Holloverse, after the seventh Harry Potter book was out, Rowling actually revealed that many themes in her books were actually inspired by the Christian religion. On to her views in politics. J.K. Rowling donated one million pounds to the Labour Party in most recent Parliament Party. Remember, she is British. Even she even adds her own views to American politics, being such as a liberal. She often makes these views very clear on Twitter, where she talks strongly about her politics beliefs. And as far as the press, Rowling doesn't exactly like the press. Although she is very popular and famous as a writer, she doesn't like pictures of her family being taken. She's gone as far as making sure that the press could not release photos of her son or family. She went as far as going to the judge to the court system in order to make sure that there was a specific thing out that they could not actually post any pictures of her son David. That's why it's so hard to find photos of her family anywhere on the internet. Now let's review what you've learned today. We, we learned how Rowling lost her billionaire status and how it's not that well known that she did. The hurdles that she had to overcome in order to become such a famous person and amazing person and her views in politics religion and press which we find she does not really like press all that much as rowling will say is impossible to live without failing at something unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all in which case you fail by default